So this little corner over here in my room is my makeshift vanity when I'm home from school. So as you can see over there, I got my acrylic container over here and then I got my everyday makeup drawer down here. I got my base products in here. So I have powders, primers, concealers, and foundations. And the next drawer has my highlighters, which almost takes up the whole drawer. And then I also have some contour products on the side over there. The next drawer is bronzers and blushes. And then the next drawer is eyeshadow type products. So I got some smaller palettes back there. Singles, primers, liquid eyeshadows, glitters, things like that. And the very, very last drawer is where I keep all my eyeshadow palettes. They're all kind of just like stacked on top of each other. I was playing with my makeup the other day, so it's not quite organized right now. And lastly, over here is where I keep my makeup brushes over there. And then I have my everyday makeup drawer over here, which is just a little makeup I'm using on an everyday basis right now. And then I have some eyelashes stored over to the side over here. All right, so we're starting out with foundation. And so I currently have 14 foundations, which is quite a bit of foundation. It's a little bit more than where I'd like to be. I think by the end of the year, I would like to be around 10 foundations, if not maybe 9, I would like to be in the single digits, but we'll see. A lot of these foundations are half empty, as you could tell from the bottles. Foundation is just one of my favorite categories of makeup to put on, so I always want to try new ones. So I also want to quickly mention that I have two foundation mixers. I have this NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in Olive, and then this ELF Foundation Mixer in Yellow. I don't count these in my inventory or in my foundation collection numbers, just because I count these things as more of tools than makeup, so I don't count them in my makeup inventory, but I just want to let you guys know that I have them. So moving on to primers, I currently have seven in my collection, although these two are sample sizes. I would like to ideally only have four or five primers in my collection just because I only need a hydrating, a smoothing, an illuminating, and a mattifying primer. And right now I have three pore filling primers in my collections. I would like to get rid of one of these by the end of the year. This one is my hydrating one, this one is my illuminating one, and these two are mattifying, although this one isn't currently open, so I feel like it's okay that I have two of them in my collection right now. All right, so moving on to concealers, I currently have six in my collection, and this one right here, Makeup Forever, is not cruelty free. I feel like this number isn't as big as some of the other duplicates I have in my collection, so I don't really mind the number right now. Ideally, I would like to bring it down just a little bit. Ideally, I would like to whittle this down to four concealers because I like having one that's full coverage and then one that's every day, but in both my summer and winter shades, so four would be my ideal number. Right now, six isn't too far out of bounds. All right, so now moving on to powders, I currently have 10 powders, which is way, way, way too many considering that most of them are just translucent powders. Um, I do count these two powders from my Hourglass palette as each its own powder, so that's why I have 10. And then this one isn't cruelty free. This is like some Asian brand. And then the Laura Mercier powder isn't cruelty free. So I am no longer allowed to buy powders this year because this is way, way too many. I totally forgot that I had this one sitting at home. And then I ended up buying these two powders recently. So that was a big mistake on my part. No buy for powders this year because I have a bunch, as you can see, and translucent powders, especially loose ones like these, take forever to use up. So. So as I was putting away my powders, I totally forgot that I considered this one a powder as well. This is my Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder, and I use this as an under eye setting powder, so I count it in my powder um, section for my inventory, so I just wanted to mention it and show it to you guys. Alright, so now moving on to my sprays. I actually only have three, but I only have two to show you because I left my Mario Badescu spray at school, but you guys should probably know what that looks like by now, so I'll just show you these two for now. I don't use sprays that often, so I'm okay with only having two in my collection. Although, ideally, I would only like to have one because I really only use the Mario Badescu spray to take away any powderiness on my face. So I would like to get these two out of my collection by the end of the year. So this is my blush collection. I currently have 14 blushes. 12 are, like, single blushes, and I have two in this palette. And then these two right here are not cruelty-free. So this may not seem too big um, compared to some other people's blush collections, but I'm not the biggest blush fan. I don't really like wearing blush that often. So to have 14 blushes and not be a blush person is a little bit excessive for me. So this is my bronzer collection. I currently have 12, and out of the 12, these two over here are not cruelty free. Although I use bronzer every single day, it does take a while to go through one, so having 12 is a bit much. Ideally, I would only to maybe have around eight, something in a single digit. So I really have to watch myself when it comes to buying bronzers. I used to think I didn't have that many in my collection, but apparently I have a bunch, because I really fell in love with bronzer in the past year, and I use like every single day, so I wanted to try some new bronzers since I didn't have that many before and I only have one cream bronzer which I feel like isn't too bad I like to have one cream option usually for each category so I don't mind that one but I would like to get through some of these powders I have hit pan on this one and this one and this one over here is only a mini size I'm hoping to use one up this year 
So moving on to my highlighters, I currently have 26 highlighters. This is the part of my collection that is extremely out of hand. Not quite sure how I collected 26 highlighters, but here they are. I just couldn't help myself when it came to highlighters. This one is a sample size, and this one is a sample size. This is a sample size, and this one is also a sample size. Technically, this palette has a sample sizes of the Smashbox Trio in pearl, but since there's three highlighters in here, I just count it as one full highlighter. I definitely have a highlighter problem, and I need to rein it in this year. I mean, out of this collection, I believe the only one that is non-cruelty free is this Laura Mercier one over here and then this NARS one over here, which I'm currently panning, so hopefully I'll be able to get that out of my collection soon. I was about to put my highlighters away when I forgot that I have one more hiding back in one of my drawers. This is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in the shade Copper Diamond. It was one of the limited edition ones. This is not cruelty free. I don't really keep this in my main collection because this is just more of a collector's item for me. My mom bought this as one of the, my first high-end purchases and so I just like to keep it for a memory's sake. But I don't really use it that much because the shade does not work on me. And then as I was grabbing my contour stuff, I totally forgot that I also have this highlighter in my collection from Kevin Aquan, this candlelight powder. So, so moving on to my contour collection, not quite as big as my highlighter one, but still I have too many. So I currently have eight in my collection, and ideally I would like to only have two just because I would like one powder and one cream, just because I find that contour does the same thing no matter what shade you're really using. Like you don't need different shades of contour. I use the same one all year round. I'm really focusing on my cream contours right now because I have three of them right now and I don't know why I have three but I would like to whittle that down definitely this year because they don't last quite as long as powders and then out of this collection these two right here are not cruelty free so these are all my brow products I currently have eight of them these three over here are like backups like they're not open yet and these are the ones I'm currently using although I don't really use this powder that much anymore so I've been debating and giving it away but for now it's staying in my collection I feel like this is pretty controlled. I feel like I don't have too many because a lot of these I do use on a daily basis. So I don't really mind having all of them open. So this is my eyeshadow primer collection. I currently have six, which is a few too many, but I don't think it's too out of hand. These two right here aren't open yet, so these are just waiting in the wings. And then this one over here is not cruelty free, but it's almost done. Ideally, I would like to have only around three eyeshadow primers. I feel like would be a good number because I like having a glitter glue, and then I like having a nude matte one, a clear one, and then this kind of tannish one that I use for like smoky eyes. All right, now moving on to cream shadows. I currently have 11, which I feel like sounds like a lot, but I don't really mind the number right now because I find that each shade is different and unique in formula or in color, so they each serve their own purpose. So I don't mind having 11 right now. I wouldn't like to get any more cream shadows. I think I have what I need. Maybe if I got into color, I would pick up a few of those, but right now for neutrals, I think I have everything I need. So moving on to eyeliners, I currently have four and that's all I ever really need. I'm not a big eyeliner person. I don't like playing with different color eyeliners. I just like really basic eyeliner, so having only four liners is perfect. So for mascara, I only have five, which I feel like is a good number. These two over here are open currently, while these three over here are waiting to be used. I usually only like to keep one or two mascaras open at a time. I don't like having any more than that open, so I don't mind my numbers right now. So this is my small palette category. I currently have 15, and this category is a little bit of a jumble of things. So I have this face palette over here that I originally counted in small palettes when I first did my inventory, but now I count each one individually, but I haven't done it with this one yet. So for now, I'm just keeping it in my small palette category. And then I also have these singles over here that I wear from ColourPop all at once. These down here are all ColourPop. So I wasn't sure how to count my single shadows, and since I made all of this in one order, I just decided to count it as a small palette. Out of this collection, this Dior palette is not cruelty free, this Asian brand over here is not cruelty free, and then this Inglot palette over here isn't cruelty free. So for my small palette collection, I think it is a little bit sizable. The number is a little high, but for now I don't mind. I really do enjoy playing with eyeshadows, so I don't mind having so many, um, since most of these are eyeshadow palettes, except for that one exception. I probably should rein in my eyeshadow purchases a little bit. You'll see when I show you all my big palettes. So I had a hard time trying to fit this into frame, but these are all of my larger eyeshadow palettes that have more than 10 shadows in them. And I currently have 15 large palettes, which is quite a bit considering how many shadows come in a lot of these palettes. These two over here are Coastal Sense ones that I made myself out of their singles, but I consider them their own palettes. 
And then in this Z palette corner over here is actually my color pop you had me at hello palette but I actually took the packaging of that palette and turned it into its own mini Z palette type thing so it's really messy I'm really sorry I couldn't get all the glue off but I count all those shadows back there as one palette so as for my number of 15 it is quite a lot of eyeshadow considering how hard it is to use up eyeshadow palettes so although 15 eyeshadow palettes are a lot I don't mind having that many just because I do like to change up my eyeshadow a lot and eyeshadow is one of my favorite parts of doing makeup that being said I do find that most of these are neutral palettes so I definitely want to try to be smarter about my palette purchases and stop buying so many neutral palettes over and over and over again. And out of this collection, I think the only one that is not cruelty free is this Lorac palette down here. So moving on to my true single shadows, which are the ones that actually come in compacts. I currently have 18 of them, which I didn't think I had this many for some reason, but I guess I do. I'm not the biggest fan of single eyeshadows and compacts, although I do like having this certain unique shade in its own compact. A lot of times I don't reach for these a lot, so I would like to keep this collection into its same size by the end of the year. And actually a lot of this collection is not cruelty free for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. This Bobbi Brown one isn't cruelty free. These two MAC ones are not cruelty free. This L'Oreal one back here is not cruelty free. Neither is this Burberry or Estee Lauder. Oh, and this one over here is a Korean brand, so it's also not cruelty free. So as for glitter and pigment type products, I only have four, which doesn't sound like a lot, but honestly, I don't really reach for glitters or pigments in a loose form that often. So I could probably live without these products to be quite honest. This one over here from Kiko is more of a sentimental product because I got that one when I was on vacation in Italy. And then out of these four products, this MAC pigment is the only one that is not cruelty free. All right, so now moving on to my lip product category. For lip liners, I currently have seven, which I feel like doesn't seem like that many, but personally, I don't really wear lip products that often. Additionally, I pretty much use lip liners just like a regular lipstick. I don't really use them for like lip liner purposes that they're meant for. I just use them to fill out my whole lips. So technically, this should be counted in like my lipstick category because that's how I use them, but since they are technically a different product, I do keep them in their own category. Also, the two MAC lip liners at the bottom are not cruelty free. So moving on to lip glosses, I currently have nine, which again doesn't seem like too many, but this category has grown a lot this past year, especially because I've gotten more into glossy lips and most of my lip products are matte since that was the trend before. So I've been buying glosses to kind of compensate for that. And if you can tell from the trend of my lip products, you'll notice that I pretty much wear the same brownish nude lip shade like every single day and I don't have a bunch of variety. So even though I do only have nine, I think I have a gloss for every situation I would need. So I don't want this category growing either. And I just also wanted to mention that this MAC gloss over here is red it's from the Rihanna collection from a while ago. That one's more of a collector's item versus something I actually use. Also, it's not cruelty free. So moving on to liquid lipsticks, can you tell that I got into makeup when liquid lipsticks were the big trend? Because I have a bunch of them and I'm not even the really the biggest fan of them anymore. But anyways, I'm supposed to have 21. And I looked at my list and the list looks right with what I'm supposed to have and I haven't really bought any new liquid lipsticks lately so this should be the right number and list but I seem to be missing one. Not sure where it is. I might have lost it to a friend or lost it at a club or something. Anyways, 21 liquid lipsticks, definitely way too many. I don't really purchase them anymore so I don't think this category will be a problem for me. I don't think I'll be purchasing any more. As you can tell, very into the brownish nudes again. And last but not least, we have my regular lipstick collection. I currently have 18 lipsticks. Again, most of them are pinky brown nudes. This doesn't seem like too many lipsticks, but again, I don't wear lip products a lot. So I haven't really purchased that many lip products in the past year. I've only gotten these two bite lipsticks, which came in the set. So for this category, although I have a lot, I know I don't really wear lipsticks. So I'm in control of this category, even though there is a bunch here. Out of this category, the only ones that aren't cruelty free are these two Maybelline ones and then this NARS one over here. Mm -hmm. 